I just built an entire app prototype in less than 5 minutes, complete with multiple screens as you can see here, as well as a workflow behind it which shows how users would interact, all in just a couple of minutes using Sketchflow. What is Sketchflow? It's a website which allows you to go from an idea to an interactive prototype in just a couple of minutes. Now it's unlike other platforms because it doesn't just design your front end like this, and then all these different pages, as you can see here, there's like 20 pages, but it also allows you to design a back end using this workflow portion where we have essentially how do these pages link together, allowing us to go from our idea to an interactive prototype in just a couple of minutes. So let's go and check it out for ourselves. So if you head on over to sketchflow.ai, which will be the first link in the description below, this is what you get at first. You can either create by description or by an image. So you can upload a reference image and go from there or by description. We'll go description and I'll paste this in here. I want to create an online community platform with a course page, modules, page for users to chat, lets users sign up, log in, and gives them a user page. So here we have a few different pages and we have a flow so you have to sign up or log in to then get to the page, etc. Now I can decide whether I want it to be web, mobile, desktop, or tablet, and then which size I want it to be as well. So that will be fine here, and you just send that away. And so now Sketchflow will go away and it will design your user interface. And there we go. So it has created our workflow. We can now check this over. So let's zoom in. We see we have our landing page, which then goes to either login or sign up. Um, login can also go to forgot password. That's cool. Then we have home, which goes to courses, course details, module content. Home can also go to forum, forum, topic, my profile or another user's profile etc etc so you can see here that it's created this entire workflow idea now what we can do is we can change this if we want so let me zoom in here we can add to the end here so move this somewhere whoops click plus here there we go we've got a new page and then we can add from like this so back to home for example we can go to here just showing you how this works but we'll delete that now what we can do here is we can select individual ones like this and then generate the interface up here for these or what we can do is we can just select this here which will generate all of these scenes so this entire workflow all the pages that are required and we can click generate interface and so now sketchflow will ask us some clarifying questions so let me move my head up here so we have a couple of designs we can choose from so minimalism we can have a flat design classic academia feel a modern business Futuristic cyber UI, I think I like that best, or a dark color scheme. Now, if I'm going to go for like a community feel, I think dark colors best. And then here we have style description. You see, this changes depending on which one we select. We'll go with that. We could also use, you know, write in your own description, but we'll go with this one and then we'll generate the interface. So we can see now that it's starting to create all of our different pages, the landing page, the login page, sign up, etc, etc, all being generated right now by Sketchflow. Now, whilst this is going on, let me talk you through what's happening here on the right hand side. So we have the name of the page. So this is a landing page with the description. And then you have ways that you can map things as well. And you can update the style settings as well here using that AI assistant. You can do the same thing under design, which I'll show you once it loads up, and then interaction as well. We can update. So we'll give this a minute. We'll let it all load up. But in the meantime, let me talk you through some of the library ones that we have. So if you want to start and you don't really know where to start or you want some inspiration on how this platform could benefit you or your company, right, or your clients, come here to template library and then you can select you want a website, a mobile site, desktop site specifically, tablet, whatever you want. And then you can see all of these templates here. So for example, I want to check out this one, Aerocast. Let's see what this one is. And then it'll open up the workflow. And so we can actually get an idea for how this app works through the workflow. But first, let's go to the design interface. And then from the interface, we can then see all the different pages which are going to be linked together. So here's the first one here, and we can see how that works. If I hover over it, let's see if I select another one. Since there we go, it's highlighting over. Now, if you want to actually select on these to navigate through the site, we've got to the top here. We can click Preview, 
And then now we can actually flick between these pages by selecting on them. So you can see what happens on this website functionally from the user's perspective. So obviously all this information will have to be, you know, piped in, but the actual flow for the website which is perfect for demos to try and raise funds or whatever for your idea to get it out there, then you can try this. So if you then wanted this website, so you're like, right, I like this, I'm going to change it. So instead of being about weather, it's about something else. I don't know, whatever you want. You can then click copy to my project up top here, copy to my project, and it will replicate this exact workflow for you. Now from here, we can change things as required. But let's go back to the one we have running over here let's see how we're going on so it started to generate up the login page that looks nice and slick learn connect pretty cool courses etc cool oh hey it's all starting to come now ignite your learning journey diverse people collaborating digitally <laughs> i wonder if that's a prompt for the, the the image that's gonna arise there um but basically the way that we can then update and change this as we'll see here on the right hand side as we have our AI assistant, we can change page name, description. We can generate new images for the page. We can then change the style as well. So say we like this website, but we want it to be in that dark style we liked. You can click here and then you can change this to apply for all pages or to just this page. So you can actually change it, but keep all the information on it. Additionally, we can go in here and we can actually change individual items. So hourly forecast, you could just change that to, you know, hourly or whatever, extended forecast. That's fine. And then you can move things around as well. So we have the sun here. Whoops. Let's grab this sun. Then let's move them over to this side. Let's move this over to under here. Whoops. And I'm doing a bit of a dodgy, dodgy one here. You can see why I need AI. But you get the gist of how it works. So anyway, if we go back to our actual site, we can see now that it's almost fully done. Quick interjection is look from the future. So I wanted to show you this here because I don't cover it fully in the main tutorial, which is generating images. So Sketchflow actually has the ability to generate images for you for your website. So here we can actually map them by generating images or we can provide our own if we have them. Now, if we click generate image, that will create all of them for this page. But we can also just click on the element and you'll see over here now that it says page element and we can write in a description and then we can click regenerate and it'll make a new one here. So we could write something like people in a classroom because say I want it less like a laptop experience and more feel like a connected experience. I can click regenerate and now it'll go away and generate this new image for us. So let's see what it comes up with. And there you have it. It has created our image right here natively inside Sketchflow. Anyway, back to the tutorial. So what we can do is we can click on preview and we can start just previewing what we have so far. So we have our login screen here. And then if I was to log in, it would then take me to home, but we'll just assume we're here. Hey, this looks pretty cool. Home courses forum profile. Very, very nice. Under here, if we browse courses, we can see all of our different courses, continue learning comes to here. Hey, this looks so good. I'm actually well impressed. See, once the images are, are created in here, this would be such a sick demo. Um, here we go. Here's our discussion. What else do we have here? We have our user profile. This is honestly looking brilliant. I'm really impressed with this, man. So if you want to collaborate with others, you can then click on share and we can actually send this to someone. Now, we can either send it so that they view only or we can allow import which will allow them to copy this design and use it as a base additionally once you're done you can then export this design you can either export it as a sketch or as an html demo package so basically like run it like a website and so there you have it if you're sick of using things like lovable and you want to have a full user workflow like what do users actually do when they're on the website and have multi pages here which we can then export as the html and then based on that html we can then import it say into cursor or something and then build this out to a fully fledged app you want to be using sketchflow now go check it out it'll be the first link in the description below let me know how you got on like the video if you've liked the video comment any of your thoughts subscribe for the next one and i'll see you later take care